kindergarten was the grade to take naps, play games, and have and sing. Everyone loved kindergarten because we played lots of games and always had fun. But little did we know that we were always learning something. Students need to learn to work with others and learn to work individually and communicate with others to comprehend instructions. Having something called workstations can just do that. According to Sharon Tabinsky, our classrooms should reflect our goals, taking one time out of the day for everyone to get into groups and show the teacher what they have learned. Workstations can improve learning skills and amaze little minds at the same time. Learning is made to be fun at young age, and now I'm going to tell you how to do it for school. Workstations can give the students a chance to be creative, read, write, and have fun while doing it. The purpose of workstations is to teach the students to work on their own and learn how to work in groups to help each other. This gives them a chance to figure out which students is the leader in the group. That student will help the others know what they're supposed to do during the activity. While the students are in their station, the, te the teacher will pull out two to three students, helping them with what they're struggling with within the week. The teacher does not spend any more than 10 to 12 minutes a day with them. In the middle of the day, or when the teacher is ready, they will send them to their stations for about 45 minutes a day. Activities contain math, science, reading, and writing, giving the students individual work with the teacher without the teacher thinking for them. This also gives the teacher an opportunity to know that they, that what level they are on within the class and their classwork. How does all this happen? The teacher creates stations for the students helping them read, write, and teach them how to follow directions. Depending on the class size is how many students should be in a group. The teacher will most commonly have three to four students in a group in each station. Stations will be divided into quads by each subject. Each subject has three sections in them, giving the students plenty of activities to work on, so if they, so if so, they should not get finished within 45 minutes. The hardest part for the teacher is to create the, heart, to create the workstations they have to be thought through so the students will be occupied and learn at the same time. For the stations, you will need subjects to create all the subjects to create the quads. All the subjects will have three sections in the station. All the sections will contain activities like a word wall to make words or on a math or to work on math skills by using numbers one through five and adding and subtracting. When creating your stations, make a board of those stations for the students to have an idea of what is taking place like this board right here. The board will help the teacher make the groups and it will also help the groups when, when it comes to changing them each week. Your groups will be divided into high, medium, and low levels of where the students are in their classwork. This will help the high students take charge in helping in other, with helping others and explaining what to do. Do not place the same level of students in the same groups or this will cause chaos when it comes to pulling the students out. If this is set up in that way, they will not learn from each other. Part of working in groups is to teach the students to communicate with each other to transfer knowledge to one another. Each week you will change your groups to let each other, to let them work together. That does not mean you will not have trouble with a few groups during the week, but that is okay. You can change them when it is needed. Group work at an early age teaches them to share and communicate. This also helps the teacher not to worry about being caught on a million times a day during the workstation. The teacher during this time period will pull out two to three students in a group a day for 10 to 12 minutes. A student may be having trouble sounding out words and they will just help them catch up for the week. All the students may not have trouble, but you need to at least pull out every student each week one time a day, one time a week, just to be make sure they are familiar with everything that you are teaching. Pull outs give the teacher an opportunity to get to know their students and help with one-on-one. -on -one. Now I will do a demonstration of a word wall to help them build words and help them read. And then I'll also do a demonstration of pollution in the air activity. The word wall helps them work on their lowercase and uppercase letters. And it also helps them make words out of these letters. It helps them familiarize the words and familiarize the letters. And also they can write them down, so that helps them write their letters and write words. And now I'm going to demonstrate the pollution in the air activity that I have created. I have taken petroleum jelly or Vaseline and put it on a plate and put it outside overnight or for a couple hours. And 
this is what happens when you leave it outside. And the students will take this magnifying glass and will look into it and find anything in there that looks interesting. And when they look into the magnifying glass, they will compare what we have, just regular petroleum jelly that has not been outside. So they would compare the two and then on a piece of paper, they will write what they seen and what they thought was interesting. Taking stations and making them into a fun educational activity for children is the best way to go. Making new creations for school makes the students learn better in many different ways. It helps, their, it helps them use their motor and thinking skills. Workstations every year keep getting better and better. Separating the students gives the teacher a break and it helps them give, have one-on-one -on -one time with others. It teaches the students to be independent and have group work. Workstations have been around for years and, it is also, and there's always room for more ideas. These activities can blow minds and improve learning skills. If you teach, Think about what the students will be interested in and what they will like to learn. Because if you do, then you will be the best teacher ever.